What's up, freaks? In the VIP, we're continuing the habits talk because the habits are what set the tone for your day. They set the tone. They get you on pace. They get you consistency to get to your towards your goals. Of course, we're talking about in the gym, but also think of in the context of your your career, your job, your family, your finances, your, your just relationships with your friends and everyone around you, and just life in general. Your freaking happiness in general is all created by these little tiny things you do, the little attention to detail, these little habits that you create every day. That's why we've been doing these habit challenges for you. Another one will be starting, we'll be starting another one soon. Pretty much every month going to come with another 21 day habit. But other than the 21 day habits that we do here in the VIP, I want to talk to you about reverse habits. And so what do I mean by reverse habits? Reverse habits I'm talking about are times where you say what you're not going to do for 21 days. Shit you know you've been doing, but you're not going to do anymore. That's also habits you need to create, re reverse habits. Like when you have a, think of like you have a checklist, a, a to-do list for the day. A lot of times, you know what's more important than your to-do list for the day? I'll make a to-do list every day, but I'll also make, which I will I'll, I'll guide my day more than the to-do list, is my not to-do list for the day. Shit I'm gonna not gonna do. Shit I'm gonna avoid. Shit I'm not gonna la let drag my day down. Shit I'm not gonna let have a lapse in my discipline on. That's what is more important than my to-do list is my not not to-do list. Shit I'm not going to do for the day. So think of that with a habit also. Shit you know, know that maybe you're doing on a regular basis. And a simple one would be, say, smoking, right? Or whatever. Something stupid like that if, if you're still one of those people that still puts some cancer sticks in your face. But whatever. Anything. And, and it could be stupid little things. All right, I know people have like their rituals or little OCD, whatever, whatever, ABC, USMC, whatever the hell they want to, they want to call it now, ACDC, there's, there's an acronym for everything nowadays, if they had that shit around when I was a kid, I would have been fucked, they would have put me on so much medication, luckily that shit wasn't around, they just said, hey, he's just a crazy kid, he's just a bored crazy kid, maybe that's what it is sometimes, right, just a bored, bored, freaking energetic kid that didn't need any medication, good thing that shit wasn't around when I was a kid, but anyway, that's a whole different topic, of course, there's a time and a place for everything, and there's, you know, things, times that that shit is needed, but that's not what we're talking about, but I'm going to share some stuff right now that I've never shared, shared really with anyone ever, things that I used to do, and this is just up until a few years ago, like a music on a, on a radio, or anywhere, any, anything that's playing audio, I had to have the, the, the volume at even numbers, and little things like that. The way I would drink, if say I was opening up a a, a, a protein a, a protein can, I would have to take a certain amount of sips each time. And I don't even know why. It's just the way it always was. Brushing my teeth, it had to be a certain amount of times doing a certain thing. And this was like a lot of different things in my life. And then I started reading and studying, becoming more self-aware of things. And I don't remember what triggered it. One day, literally one day, I read something or I was at a course or a workshop. I don't remember what it was. This was a few years ago. And literally, I cut that stuff immediately that day. I cut all these wasteful time, bad habits that I had. Even though there was a lot of them were stupid little things. But some of them were not so little. Like avoiding social situations and stuff like that. Cut that stuff like that. And I immediately started doing public speaking in front of crowds that were thousand, you know, over a thousand people live just to overcome that. So literally just cut those bad habits and those stupid, and some of them are just stupid habits. That you, these rituals that you have and you think you need to do them. And all they do is waste time. They waste your mental focus. And then if it's off, it just fucks you up in your head. I, you gotta cut that shit, like immediate. And of course there's addictions and there's things like that. That's not what we're talking about. That's a different level. We're talking about just bad fucking habits, stupid habits that you're wasting your time and your mental energy on. Like all I had to do would decide this stuff isn't this shit this shit is just not serving me it's not bringing me towards my goals it's not bringing me towards any kind of fulfillment or happiness or success it's not helping me help anyone else better so all i did is literally in one day and i'm talking about that thing i said with the volume on the radio i had about i don't even know 20 30 little different stupid things like that that almost controlled my day wasted time and cut them that one day and never have done them again I never thought about it again. It was just flipping the fucking switch in your head, making that decision. A reverse habit. Getting rid of the habits you have. That's a reverse habit. Of course, we want to create good habits and then also do the reverse. Erase bad habits and do it over time. And it just comes to literally you making the decision. Like I used to tell myself, I'm not a people person. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. It was an excuse 
to, to not have to go and put yourself in certain situations and do certain things. So immediately that same day that I called myself up, I said, fuck it, I'm going to meet a new person every single day. And I try to, sometimes I don't, and sometimes you'll find yourself slipping away a little bit. But focus on reverse habits just as much as you're focusing on the habits you're creating. Focus on erasing wasteful, stupid, negative habits that you have. And also, obviously, unhealthy habits and whatever. So, a new 21-day habit will be coming soon. Look, 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 get, do some self, have some self-awareness and figure out what can I eliminate? What reverse habits can I, can I eliminate from my life and fucking delete forever? And as hard as it seems, like literally I would, I would swerve in the car to make sure that the volume was at a certain level. And that day I made a decision. I said, how fucking stupid. And I thought it had to be that way. That's just always the way it was. Made the decision literally in the flip of a fucking switch, deleted, gone, reverse the habit. It's just your decision. It's just in your head. All that shit in your head. What a waste. How st- it's so stupid. That's, and this is the first time I've ever really talking about this stuff, especially on a video. Just to give you a, a quick idea. And I'm sure, uh, put in the question or the comments down below if there's anything like that that you could relate to. Stupid little things you do in your, in your day, in your life, and ritual. Of course, we want rituals. We want positive rituals. Rituals that are going to help you. They're going to move you forward. They're going to keep you on track and structured in your day. You know, strategic rituals that help you throughout your day and keep you flowing and keep you working, moving forward towards your goals. But stupid rituals like that, waste of fucking time and a waste, more than a waste of time, a waste of mental energy. There's not, there's only two worst things you could waste in life. More than anything, more than money, more than anything else is your time and your fucking mental energy. Nothing you could waste more than that. Anyway, put, put down below this, any of this, anything you do, wasteful habits, you could reverse. Talk about what your goal is. What, what habits you're going to reverse. Give me some 21 day reverse habits. You're going to try to work on. Let's talk about it. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.